All right, go. Hey, happy Monday, everyone. It is Mark in the minivan getting ready. Oh, I, I, keep, I keep forgetting I got to shut the minivan off before I start these videos because it is uh, less noisy. Pearl hanging out with me. Yeah, Pearl growing, definitely. We are ready for our two-mile walk, and I am recovering from Game of Thrones last night. Fun to see these guys back on TV. However, uh, it's been so long since I watched the show that I'm a little lost. I need to go back and, and re, re, uh, remember where the story has uh, put us at this point. Anyways, uh, Starbucks today, no Dunkin' Donuts. Guns N' Roses Slash has announced that they will start work on the new Guns N' Roses record in the fall, apparently. I'm going to see Slash twice this year. Once in uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana, while I'm vacationing out there with Emily. That's where her family's from. And once at Heavy Montreal, one of the greatest North American rock festivals. And so Slash is um, saying they're going to start work on this uh, Guns N' Roses album in the fall. I don't know if that means we see the album in 2020 or 2030. Uh, you know, could be more realistic knowing how it went with Chinese democracy. However, I will say that I, I think that with Duff and Slash back in the fold that things will probably happen quicker. That's just my guess. Uh, I think Axel trusts these guys and I think they're a good balance for him creatively and emotionally. So let's see what happens. I would love to hear it. And I just wanted to say, I was on this message board, and I was reading some of the comments that people were saying about this news that Slash has revealed. And somebody's like, well, I really hope they get Steve, Ad Steven Adler and Izzy Stradlin back in the fold for the record. I, I don't know why, but this comment just annoyed the shit out of me. It's like, really? I mean, okay, why don't you, like, just because you had sex with a girl in 1987 and you guys had amazing sex and you made an amazing baby doesn't mean that getting back together with her in 2019, the same magic is going to happen. Matter of fact, you're probably not even going to be able to conceive at this point. So it's like, give me a break. Drop that stuff. Live in the now. Live in today. You know, Izzy, I mean... I saw him on stage numerous times with Guns N' Roses over the last 15 years when he did the guest spots and stuff, you know, back before Slash and, and Duff were in, back in Guns N' Roses, and it wasn't really the greatest. I, I don't know. I got kind of a sense. I was wondering if he could even really play that well anymore. Um, maybe maybe Izzy has written the next White album, uh, you know, recently. I don't know, but I'm just not interested. I, I want to I see the band, you know, with... Frank Ferrer and and uh, what's the other Richard Fortis and I don't know I guess Melissa is that her name the cute keyboard player uh, yeah so let's just let's just see what these guys can do let's keep it 2019 2020 and let's hope it it, it, it can come out in 2020 2021 uh, I I just hate people who are so stuck in the past man it's like let's give these guys a chance to put something together slash Duff and Axel, I think that's a winning combination, and I don't think they need, I really don't think they need Izzy, I'm not sure he would even contribute anything, and Steven Adler, I, I mean, I guess he can still play fairly well, but Frank's been there, Frank played on some of the Chinese Democracy songs, I thought he did a great job, as did Richard Fortas, that was a great record, if you're gonna get Izzy and, and Steven back, well, you know what, let's just go all the way, let's get Buckethead back too, let's get, uh, you know, Chris Pittman and the whole nine yards. You know, I please, we don't need them. We don't need them. Let's let's see what uh what's oh and I forgot to mention Dizzy Reed. Let's see what he's involved too. Let's see what these these guys can give us. All right, all right. Dizzy Reed, Melissa, uh, Frank, Richard Fortas, Slash, Duff, Axel. That's what I want. A new album from these guys. I hope it happens. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't, but I do hope it does. All right. Thank you, guys. Visit my website and support me there. It's uh, talkingrock.net. Go to the support tab there and show your support. Like and share this video. My name is Mark Striegel, M-A-R-K-S-T-R-I-G-L. Check me out on Facebook.